In this video, I'm going to share a very simple refresh technique where I go from this to this. On this channel, I already have a few refreshing technique videos that you can check out if you're interested. The first is a full refresh where I detangle my hair. I use a leave-in conditioner and a gel. Well, in the video I used a conditioner, I would recommend using a proper leave-in conditioner and a gel. I also have a video showing you my very own pin curl refresh technique where I use a leave-in conditioner and I also use a leave-in conditioner and a gel and some clips. It is a very superficial refreshing technique. So in the technique, you just refresh a few curls on top and it completely transforms the look of your hair. This technique definitely takes a bit of time to get the hang of, but once you get the hang of it, it takes you barely five minutes and you're completely done. Highly, highly recommend. I also have a video on the CG Friendly Serums in India, where I've shown you how I refresh using a serum and I use the finger roll technique in that video. I also show you a few other techniques that I use. And of course, I've uploaded a post-workout refresh technique video as well. That makes it a total of four refresh techniques that I've already shared. This would be the fifth refresh technique that I'm sharing with you. This technique also takes very little time and you get the job done. I always get these questions on what you can do on non-wash days if your hair is not looking great. And I would encourage you to check out these videos, which is why I'm putting all of these refresh technique videos and my nighttime curly hair routine video in a playlist so that it makes it a little easier for you to navigate and find on my channel. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. For today's technique, you're gonna need a spray bottle. You're gonna need some leave-in conditioner and some gel, or you could use a mousse. This is the mousse that I'm gonna be using today. So first off, I'm just gonna take some leave-in conditioner and I'm gonna put it into the spray bottle. And then I'm just gonna take some water. Give that a bit of a shake. And I'm using drinking water because the water here is very hard. And I noticed that I get a lot of buildup because of that hard water. So this is just some filtered mineral water that I'm using. And I've given that a good shake. And as you can see, it's looking nice and milky and frothy inside. So now I'll just spray my hair down. And then I'll just glaze and smooth this on my head. I'm not detangling or separating my clumps or anything. And I'll do exactly the same thing on the other side. I use the Ashpa leave-in conditioner because it is one of the lightest leave-in conditioners in the market and also when you're refreshing, sometimes your hair doesn't take too well if you use a product that's like super heavy, which is why I chose this one. I've noticed that it seems to do a pretty decent job with refreshing and it doesn't build up or weigh my hair down too much, which is what makes it such a perfect product to refresh with. If you feel like any curl clumps have broken up or separated and are looking frizzy, you just take your nail and just smooth it down that way. And to just show you the difference, on one side I'll use a gel, I'm using the curl up gel, and on the other side I'm going to use the enliven mousse. And then I'm just glazing it through my hair, not disturbing any of the curl clumps per se. And then I'm just gonna scrunch. It's 
So as you can see, this is like a glaze and a scrunch technique. And so I'm taking the mousse. I'm going to be super generous with it. And then I'm just going to scrunch. And now I'm just going to take my diffuser and I'm going to diffuse till it's completely dry. This shouldn't take you too long since your hair is not super wet. And if you're looking for a detailed video on how I use my diffuser, I already have two videos. I'll put them down in the description and also up in the cards so you can check that out. Alright, so I'm done diffusing and now I'm just going to scrunch out the crunch. And now I'm just going to fluff out my roots. Alright, so this is what my hair is looking like once I'm done scrunching out the crunch. So this is the gel side and this is the mousse side. I'm sure you'd agree that the mousse side has a little more volume. This was a really quick, a really time effective routine if you want to refresh and you're in a hurry. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and gained value. And if you're interested in hair care, feel free to check out these videos.